G'day folks, this is Corey Hind. We're going to talk about a free SEO audit you can do for yourself, for your own website, and get some value and some things to do. So watch this video. I've got some free tools. They're very useful, and it will allow you to go away and find out more about your website and what you need to fix. I did this because often I get people asking me, what's the best a free SEO audit I can do, what are the best tools out there, what can I use to run my website through to find out some information. So I thought I'd just put this together. It's some of these tools I use myself in, in my work as a SEO pro. Um, some I don't use much, but they're all free and useful. And I'll just give you a rundown of why I use each one. So the first one I use is, by the way, do join my email list, okay? If you um, can think to do that, that would be wonderful because I teach people this stuff all the time. Now, the first thing I use very often is Website Grader. It's really, I wouldn't say it's basic, but it gives you a score out of 100. Now, people like to get scores. We love to get numbers and things. I'll often say to people, hey, just run your website through Website Grader. It's now owned by HubSpot, which is a great content company. It gives you a basic heads up, okay? What are the key things you should fix now? Okay, so often I'll just say, hey, run your site through here, and they'll go, oh, look, your site's not secure. Fix that. Google does not like unsecure sites. Or might say, oh, look, you're, you're not performing well on mobile, so go and fix that. It'll give you a performance aspect as well as to speed, etc., and also a little SEO score as a component of that 100. So I recommend people use that because it's really easy. Um, you do have to put your email address in, but they won't hammer you with stuff. So website.grader.com, it's pretty cool. It'll give you a basic heads up on some technical aspects of your site. Now, the next one is a little bit deeper than that. I quite like this one because... Again, it's totally free. You don't have to give away anything like an email address. And it just gives you some really good intel on your website. It'll pull up the things. It'll say, hey, fix these high important things here. Maybe work on these ones next and maybe work on these ones next. So what I would do if I was a person who's looking for a basic free SEO audit is go to seoptimer.com, pop your website in there, and simply pick the two or three highest priority tasks and fix those. And if you do that every few weeks, then over time, your site will be performing much, much better. Often, it'll pull up the basics like your website speed, um, security, all that sort of stuff. But give it a crack. I quite enjoy it. And for free, what else do you want? Now, the next one is probably the go-to. There's a few speed audits that people use. Um, GT Metrics, uh, Pingdom is another one, but D GT Metrics is the one that we use as the gold standard at the moment. It's really cool. So it'll, it'll give you a whole bunch of intel about your speed of loading. Now that's a very important thing because we know that Google likes fast websites. They've told us with the Core Vitals update that speed performance of your website is a big part of how high you rank. And speed is a huge part of performance. So you need to get that right. Now, GT Metrics is cool because it'll it'll look at your website and it'll give you a bunch of things about how fast your site's loading. And then it'll tell you how to fix them as well. So it'll highlight the problems and it'll give you some basics on how to fix those. It's a little bit technical. And at that point, you might want to reach out to an SEO pro to help you. But for some people with a technical background, you can do this stuff yourself. Okay, so GT Metrics is really cool. If you want to use something else, go to Google Page Speed Insights. So developers.google.com, you can see the URL there. That's the Google Page Speed tool. Now, if it's from Google, it's going to be good. Okay, Google has some really great tools. And just for an alternative viewpoint on speed, I suggest you use that. Now, the next one is mobile friendly test. And again, that was checked out in Website Grader and probably in the SEOP timer as well. But this one, again, it's a Google tool. Google's very good. And if Google is not saying that your site is mobile friendly, then Houston, we have a problem. So you want to check that one out and fix whatever problems come out of it. Okay, again, Google now looks at sites mobile first. So in the old days, they'd look at the desktop version of a website, deciding on who would rank the highest. Now it's mobile first. So we need to ensure our site looks good on mobile. Now, SERP Robot. This is awesome. So if you want to rank yourself and see where you rank compared to your competitors, SERP Robot is the way to go. There are other ways to do this. There's paid tools, there's free tools. This one's just super easy. Anyone can use it. You essentially go to SERP Robot, you pop in your website, you pop in your country, and you pop in I suggest three to five of the most important um, phrases for your business and see where you rank. And it'll give you a little visual of where you're ranking for each tool. And you might be ranking in the top five or 10 for some and not for others. Once you've done some homework about the key phrases you want to rank for, this tool is awesome. So I suggest you get in there. 
Now, the Ahrefs backlink checker, this is really cool. Um, we know as pros in the SEO game that good relevant links to your site from other websites gives Google a massive heads up saying this is a good, relevant, authoritative website. So we want to build up our backlink profile over time. So what I do for my clients is I go to this every single week and I pop their website in there and it gives me a heads up on the backlink number. It tells you which, which ones are follow and don't follow. We'll talk more about that later. It's just a good thing to keep an eye on because over time you want that you want that number to go up. Okay, you want your backlink and relevant backlink count to go up. Uh, it's a real key part of winning on Google. So just chuck your website in there and see how many backlinks you've got. Ahrefs.com backlink checker, website authority checker. Now, website authority. There's a few versions of this. Moz has one. Uh, there's a few businesses that have an authority checker, like a domain authority or domain rating. There's a few versions of that. Essentially, what that means is how authoritative is this website? Okay, how long has it been around? How many people are pointing back to that via backlinks? Is it is it relevant and authoritative? Okay, so Google, for example, has a, a authority count essentially of 100. So that's a very high authority website. It's Google. Facebook, LinkedIn, all these websites are high authority. If you start your lawn mowing business tomorrow and start a website tomorrow, it'll start with the authority of zero. But over time, it'll age, it'll get backlinks, it'll get content, and the authority will grow. So, And you'll find that your competitors who rank higher than you on Google usually have a higher website authority as well. Now, it's not the be-all and end-all, but it's useful to keep your eye on that. So go to that and just check what your website authority is, and just keep an eye on it each month and aim to grow that number. Okay, Over time, it'll naturally grow. Um, but it does require effort, you know, over time you get more backlinks and more content. Uh, broken link checker. Now, this one's important because Google does not like to be confused. So if your website has typos or is poorly presented or has broken links, then negative marks. Okay, most things in the SEO space, Google looks at all of the various factors they assess as to who ranks the top. And they say, okay, is this factor a plus one, a minus one, or, or a zero? Now, a broken link is a minus one, okay? So if you had a big scoreboard on why am I not ranked at the top, any broken links on your website are definitely a minus one. So you want to go to brokenlinkcheck.com, run your website through that, and see if there's any broken links on your site. It's not your fault that has happened. People change their URLs, businesses go out of business, whatever. Um, so you just need to keep abreast of that because you need to repair them or replace them. Okay, the next one is the alt tag checker. So this is just a basic check that I do for people. It's very, 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 it's very fast and useful because we know that um, of all of the things that Google looks at when deciding to rank someone high or low, they do look at alt tags for images. Okay, so this little tool comes on the seoptimer.com website again, alt tag checker, and it'll tell you which images on your page or website don't have an alt tag. And you can just go in and repair those and make sure that they're relevant and maybe have a keyword in there as well. Okay, next steps in SEO for you guys. Talk to an SEO pro like myself. Set up a content plan to support the keywords you want to win. Work on building backlinks and maybe even talk to me. All right, so that's the video, guys. I hope that's useful for you. If you have any questions about free SEO audits, pop them in the comments below and please jump on my email list as well. I'll put a link there as well. All right, guys, we'll talk later. Bye for now.